I'll show you quickly so that don't take time. Yeah, so quickly. Um, yeah, so this is one area of the question questions on fertilizer and animal foodstuffs. See, as you can see, that uh, this act, although it's revised in 2022, but the amendments are 20, 20, 2015. The amendments, if you just see um, under the, the recital of the act, date of commencement, then the recital, you can see that these amendments, the 2A, 2B, 2C, and all those, are as a result of Act Number 20, 2015. Right? Meaning that uh, they have been in force since 2015. Uh, um, and you considered, I think, if I listened to what you responded, that uh, this board has not been constituted, but it is work in progress. Uh, I want to understand that uh, close to um, cl cl close 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 to nine years, close to nine years. This is work in progress. Close to nine years. This is work in progress. Um, and as you are uh, uh, going to answer that, again on the same same um, act, you can see that um, the functions of the board functions of the board that is to be. Um, and this um, uh, to be functions on the board, blah blah, uh, promote collaboration of stakeholders in the agriculture industry. Right. Um, okay, just a minute. Advise the national government and county government on procurement, establishment, and developing de development of policies re related fertilizer. Uh, I'm just trying to see. There is a point in which it says that it is talking about the distribution of uh, subsidized fertilizer very directly. Uh, do you confirm that uh, if this was uh, effectively operationalized, if this act for nine years was effectively operationalized, then this would be the correct procedure to follow, either in procurement, distribution, or anything else around fertilizer subsidy, just in case it was operationalized for nine years. Is that correct? I don't think, uh, Chair, yeah. uh, that the board would have taken over the function of acquisition or purchase of fertilizer. Why don't you think so? Because uh, in the current uh, in the current uh, setup, or the way we are, the way we've been procuring uh, a fertilizer has been through is or is through the NSPB. Would you please but, look at uh, but, 2B, 2BA? But, but 2BA. what I'm saying is that if, and I think, and I want to admit, because this is something I mentioned, because we cannot argue over what the functions of the board are as provided by the law, and we must deal with the law as is. It's for the committee to appreciate why the board has not been formed, and at what stage we are in the process of implementation yes, I understand that it is of, work in progress. Of, uh, of the act. 
I understand that it is work in progress and I appreciate. I respect that. But all I'm asking, if you look at uh, 2BA, to regulate the fertilizers and animal foodstuffs industry in Kenya, including the production, manufacture, packaging, importation, marketing of fertilizer and animal foodstuffs. Why would you think that if this act was not operationalized in the course of nine years that this act has been available, that it would then take the issue of uh, manufacture, production, procurement, distribution, and everything else concerning the subsidized uh, fertilizer? Uh, you see, the business of fertilizer production, just like I've been, I have seen, is business that we've not, or companies have not set up in Kenya. With the, the board mandate of the company, uh, of the board, uh, uh, probably we would get value by the board trying to or really or participate in the licensing of people that are participating in fertilizer business. All right, thank Either you. Either stockists now, yeah, that's okay. or importers. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that those people that are bringing in fertilizer are not licensed or fertilizer or band quality coming. And Chair, please if you may allow me, uh, remind the member that uh, this, this law has been there. We've been trying to implement other sections of different laws in the ministry. And when I think it's work in progress, is because we've already, those discussions have commenced. A task force report has been prepared. It has proposed the organizational structure all right. of, of uh, okay. this board. I... And don't also forget, we are currently, because it's a new administration, uh, Mushimua, that we are faced with serious financial challenges. And our position as government is even to collapse uh, some of the sagas of the institutions so that we can have a lean, effective government and see how we can save money and be able to apply in development. Uh, this has really, uh, really got in us and back, but we, uh, we the, the, the process has commenced. It's an advanced stage. Probably uh, we have already asked the and director crops and director agriculture, yeah, crops development, director veterinary services, in the meantime, to assume the responsibilities and make sure that this is happened. That's why you find, even well, well if the, well, well, the well, well, PS well, yes. did appoint a committee, a fertilizer committee to check on these things. So well, well done. Well, 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 well explained. We are trying to do our best. Well, well explained, CS. Yes. Uh, but uh, just, just to attach to it, mm. uh, could you please uh, help uh, CS to see the, uh, the Serious Board Act? The Serious Board Act, I think it is also part of Point the... of order, Chair. Chair, point of order. Yes. Yes, Mr. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I think as we are starting this session, you had given direction that there will be three questions, two minutes. He asked for three minutes, but I don't know whether that order was at one time vacated or we are still within the three minutes. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think I will ignore that. Now, look at uh, Honorable, serious... Uh, <laughs> Honorable Kajuang, you cannot ignore that. But, but Chair, everybody sees I'm struggling and the CS is explaining, which is his right, to explain and to take as long, as much time as he wants, because it is his right to explain. I, I, my, my question took less than uh, um, uh, uh, five seconds, but yes, he is entitled to explain even in 20 minutes if he wants. But we I can't remember, control the experiment. Remember we agreed remember we agreed that we will ask two questions. You asked for three and I said okay. And 
we will allow three members to us so that the CS can respond. Kindly let us go back to that and then we'll... I'm Sorry. doing. That Sorry. is exactly what I'm doing. You Five. see, you see now, now Chair, look. Hmm? Uh, everybody knows in this room that I am asked a small question, but the CS in his own wisdom, and he has the right to do so, can answer as long as he takes. That doesn't sh shorten my time. But anyway, let me go to the second one. Uh, and, and, and look, if you see us, I'm just trying to understand a few issues. Uh, would you please assist him in seeing uh, the, 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 the produce, the, the, the NCCB Act? Um, uh, specifically the functions. The functions. The, um, you find it in the battle prepared by the Secretary. On, on a point of order, you now have a lot of respect to one of the TJ Katwa. You know, when we say ask questions, you don't cross the plumbing to this way. Ask the question, then allow another member to ask the question, another member, then the minister or the CS then responds to the question. I thought that is the direction we've been taking in all the cases. You know, it's unfair for the TJ to dismiss on the Bumanga, uh, Tangaza. I ordinarily don't speak, but. Uh, you know when I know what are my rights, uh, it is not right. The National Cereals and Produce Board is on page 429-443, the bundle prepared by the Secretariat. You got it? Volume 4, Volume 4. Page 429, 429, 429, yes, you've seen it, and, uh, and the function, the powers of the functions are on, on uh, section 4. All right. Uh, yes, I just want you to see the entire section of four. It is one and two. If you look at it in totality, would you confirm that uh, there is no authority at all given to NCCB to procure, distribute, or manufacture Agriculture, uh, 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 um, um, uh, fertilizer. They can do what is called schedule agricultural produce, which is something else. Yeah. Just look at the totality of it all and uh, confirm to me that in that section there is no power with which that saga can procure. Chairman, uh, when I look, I think I wish I had time to read and uh, get to know. Because I'm trying to find, because one of the mandates of uh, NCPB, if you went to its website, website, although I'm not saying the whatever is contained in the website is more superior, than what is here, we realize that uh, have the mandate to deal and support farmers in ensuring that uh, farm or agricultural inputs are available to farmers. So uh, this, in this particular, the function of the board, these are functions of the board NECPD, right? So functions of the board may not necessarily because it's not the board that procures. Thank so, you. Thank, so, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. And it may not yes. extend to that. But I am, I am sure, and 
because this is not the beginning. This bondage has been there. And I believe... Th thank you, Chair. I mean, CS, that's okay. If you find it later on, you can let me know. If, if, if in the process you find an authority for NCTV <laughs> to let me know, your lawyers could be helping you. Okay. Now, Chair, the last question is this. Um, around uh, your lawyer, your, your, your counsel led you to the issue of uh, Davesh Kells, Kells Chemicals. You remember that uh, charge sheet which uh, your advocate uh, uh, brought to your attention? Now there is a, a charge sheet which uh, your advocate uh, um, talked about. You remember that? That is. Th that sir? It is not true. Uh, no. The, the the my advocate did not re make reference to any charge sheet related to Davesh. So he made reference to a change sheet that on account of a case of front. No, no, no. Yeah. The charge yes. sheet, the charge sheet which uh, is just a few days old. No, it's for Naomi. Uh, uh, no, 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 not that one. It's the one. He did not make reference to any other. I don't uh, remember. I think counsel helped him to see that charge sheet uh, around, uh, yeah. Yeah, that one. Forget about this other one. Yeah, that judge sheet, yeah. And uh, my notes are saying that I am not aware of anything which would hinder Davesh from coming uh, to testify. Now, I, I need to understand. Um, th there is an allegation uh, which is made on the petition, on, on the motion, uh, to the extent that uh, uh, the minister may or may have not used uh, his uh, powers uh, by closing the factory and so on. And then that the minister may or may have not caused a press conference. Is it true that uh, you asked or you called Davesh to a press conference, which when he did not appear, then you exercised ministerial powers to arbitrarily close his factory. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Chairman, uh, I want to be understood. And since this, I will make a comment on this because it's in my uh, bundle. But it must go on record that my lawyer did not make a difference to this document. But for whatever word it is, I want to say that I only about the claim of being people being coerced to make statements in the media and in the letter that was attached by uh, the mover of the motion from the letter from the firm of Abdullah. I am aware that the change sheet that is in this document is a proof that when the agreed standard of fertilizer that was meant to be procured by any SPMB fell short of the standard that was required and we honored for investigations and of course we respect uh, uh, independent institutions then after the investigations the office of uh, DCI with of course the recommendations from the DPP directed that these gentlemen be charged with the offenses that are mentioned here. I'm giving this information because I think I've understood also to make full disclosure of what has happened, but that does not shift the burden of proof to my hand because whoever is alleging has that responsibility. He was arrested and uh, re arraigned for plea when Parliament had already expressed 
uh, already voted on a motion to select this committee. Is that correct? I don't know. No, no, no. You check from the. You can check from the church sheet. The date of the church sheet. It is there. The date of arrest is in that document. The date of arraignment is in that document. I think it is sixth. Date of apprehension is in that document. I think uh, I think this is not true. But uh, if I also may refer to this, you realize the date of commission of offence is not on sixth. So the fact that the Parliament is debating the matter cannot stop an investigating agency from doing or carrying out this mandate on account of what is happening in Parliament. So, so that is uh, probably what I would want to say for now. Okay. Honorable Manyo. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Chair. <laughs> Yeah, I was going through this bundle and I, I saw on uh, paragraph 28 of the affidavit by the CS where he acknowledges different committees. Uh, can I wait for you or I continue as you? Paragraph 28, eh? Yeah, you acknowledge different committees in the procurement process. I just wanted to know what is the legal basis of the letter dated on 20th on page uh, 367 of... Put me to spin to understand of which part of my affidavit you are referring to. It's on paragraph 28. Which page? I think you are... Council will help. No, you are the one that's making reference respectively to that particular part of my uh, submission. And what I am reading or look finding here is different. Okay. So I hope I'll have more minutes to help out. Paragraph 28. I give you time to prepare yourself yeah, and uh, I'm okay. no just just I'll give you time thank you I'll give you uh, time just prepare yourself and then I'll come back to you honorable Malulu I got it. Yeah. members ask two questions and the CS will respond uh, after three people after three honorable members will raise their questions uh, thank you um, uh, madam chair I'll raise only one question we have a number of letters eh, that were done by the PS. Uh, you are PS Rono. I just want to confirm if you are aware of these letters and informed of the contents. Some of them do not bear your signature. Page six two. Page page two six two on volume two. I don't know if that's what you have. Yeah. Yeah. So we have preparations for the twenty twenty four long range. Though it, it does not pay your signature, at least what I have. Are you aware of those letters? There are about six of them. I'm aware, uh, Chair, that... Uh, and informed of the content. Yes, I'm aware that uh, the APS, in the performance of its accounting function... Uh, no, not, not for you to explain, eh? You are aware and informed of the contents and you have no problem. Yes, this letter, which is not signed, of course, I take a, a cognizant of the fact 
that even if it doesn't have the signature, at least the first page, I am aware that 8.5 billion for purchase of fertilizer was provided for and they required to buy. All of them? No, let's go letter by letter. Okay. The letter for 1st December, I'm not aware about this one. Because you can even see it is not copied to me. So I'm not aware about this letter. Okay. Uh, so, do you agree with it or? I don't. Do you agree with what he's saying as you are? Yes. The one for 1st of December, 23. Do I, whether I agree or not? Yeah, because it's your PS. comfortable with this letter yeah. because it's not verifiable and uh, it's not copied to me. If probably I'd seen it earlier, I mean the, I would have thought it. Okay. okay. So, thank you. Honorable Yusuf. Honorable CS. Yes, sir. I want to refer you to a bundle 361, page 361. 361. There is an agreement dated at 1st March 2022. Yes. And uh, you have confirmed to this committee that there is no word fertilizer in this agreement yes i'm not seeing it anywhere. can you see the uh, number nine indemnity and read for us for the committee please number number nine indemnity page 364 the principal agrees to indemnify the agent and keep indemnified against all third party action claims which may be suffered or incurred by the buyer arising from the quality of the fertilizer supplied to the agent by the principal under this contract, including matters touching on intellectual property. Blah, blah, blah. Number two, my other question. You have submitted a budget on June 20. 24, I mean 2023, for 12 billion fertilizer subsidy. But it was approved under the Department of Crops, not under NCBB. And as you have claimed, NCBB is semi autonomous and it is budget, it is done differently. How, how, where did you get? The where did NCBB got the money, the 12 billion they used to supply the fertilizer? Or what I'm saying is not true? Honorable yep. CS, I request that you hold on, then I will allow other members to ask, then you will respond Madam, so that we save on time, please. Madam Chair, yes. it's one and the same because the, oh, you allowed other members. That will be unfair to me. You allowed other members, and when I'm in the middle of my questions, you have started stopping me. It's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. So I answer you. One, whenever we receive the information I have, is uh, for purposes of time day accounting, and because this is not a question that was expected, would have provided better documentation in support. Whenever the PS, as the accounting officer of the ministry, uh, gets money 
for purchase of fertilizer. The money is always transferred to the National Civil and Produce Board as is for them to buy fertilizer and to account for the money because that responsibility uh, as or is being executed by NSPB. So that's why when you send us the money, the money goes directly to NSPB as received from Treasury. When they buy, they account for it. And I'm sure uh, that should be able to answer that question because... Honorable uh, CS, still I'm not satisfied. I'm saying the budget was presented under the Department of Crops. Do you have or the peers or anyone within your ministry, does he have the powers to transfer money allocated under, in, under one department to another? Because as you have explained to this honorable committee, NCBB is semi-autonomous, it is independent, and its budget is presented separately. When you look at the executive order, it has created the sagas as a different department. NCMB is under the Department of uh, Agriculture, and uh, if the budget uh, goes through the Department of Agriculture and is 400, I think the only person competent enough uh, to really demonstrate to the committee of Parliament how that money was accounted for is the MD of NSPB or the PS because they appear before the Public Accounts Committee. On the issue of the name, fertilizer or the indemnity, I would want to answer this in this context. When you look at uh, page 362, and this was not a purchase agreement, it's an agency agreement that was entered between Rotuan Capital and NSPB to provide this infrastructure for a, to, for a building of the Rotuan Capital and more supplement. This is part three of pin 262. The items, the supply price shall be here and under relevant to the engines, the engines. And those items and the quantities in the depots and the pricing are there. So you will find that NSPB signed a contract to have various infrastructure to, uh, for use for Fertuan Capital Animal Supplement, GPC Grant, and the Atomicias. So this is what we are supposed to have supplied. So the clause on indemnity in this agreement, because I think uh, it's just a general way you have an indemnity clause without being uh, carefully reading and having it specifically to make reference to uh, the subject matter, and unfortunately carried, the, carried the, that uh, fertilizer, but even at the face of it, this 51 capital did commit very serious offense because he, Mbae himself, used this window to, sub, to provide for access. I'm not saying to sell, because they were not buying to provide for access by our farmers through our infrastructure, again, uh, some material that were not useful to our farmers that were not in the agreement or, or that was not included in the agreement. And that is why uh, in those course of investigations, when I identified these gaps, then we and to, uh, we and to ensure that the investigative agencies after finalizing the investigations uh, found that this gentleman had a case to answer and because of that uh, failure to exercise serious diligence on uh, this particular matter the MD, the legal officer, the procurement officer became a victim of this investigation and the how facing various changes before courts of law and that is the maximum would have done as a cabinet secretary.
lastly, uh, in the same letter or the agreement, when you appeared uh, in one of the allegations of the Honorable Wamboka, I don't know which day, he claimed that you have made an allegation that what 51K capital was to sub, uh, supply was soil uh, moisturizer, I don't know, something like that. The question is, is there any word of soil moisturizer in that agreement or soil condition? I see the gate and device from my officers, and uh, there is likelihood of being to believe uh, or to take uh, and device and especially on an area that you do not uh, really would not claim to be very uh, much uh, uh, technically qualified in to take that and device. So whatever items are listed under page 362, and especially paragraph, if I may use the one paragraph 13, uh, the items that were allowed, and from the explanation I got, these were supposed to have been uh, soil conditioners. So I did not lie. You mislead me as a cabinet secretary, I, and I realize there is an error. I take administrative action and disciplinary action against the officer. So I have uh, done exactly that, and that's why these people are not in office. That is why this supplier, I think, is now in that area. So you accept you have been misled by your uh uh, junior officers on this? You know, to the extent that uh, they are devised that this was a soil conditioner, and uh, the fact that whatever this with one capital provided for access to farmers within our infrastructure is not what was agreed in this agreement. I would say I was misled by them. And when we realized this, this is what they did, that is why we've taken serious drastic action. And I'm happy. You have also referred me to clause nine of this agreement which talks about indemnity. So we have a case that uh, we can be able to really use the, uh, we can apply paragraph nine to really seek a uh, compensation for the farmers that may have access to this uh, material. Honorable Manuel. Thank you. Uh, 